Hello everybody. Hope you guys are all having a wonderful week and have found some cool stuff. Um, if uh, you guys are relatively new to this channel or watching this video for the first time or whatever and haven't subscribed to me, subscribe. But also, why is that light on? There we go. Um, also, if you have a channel where you collect toys and do hauls and show off your collection, uh, put a link in the comments uh, so I can find it and so other people can find it. Um, really appreciate it. Or, or even if you are subbed to this channel, just go ahead and put your name, your channel, maybe what you collect. Um, maybe we can get a list going of uh, YouTube channels and people can find some new content and stuff. Um, anyway. So back here doing a haul. A um, lot of... The majority of this is going to be G.I. Joe and Transformer, Or, uh, excuse me, G.I. Joe and Ninja Turtles. Um, I actually did get a massive Transformer haul. I don't know how many figures. Could be 200, could be 500. Really have no idea. These figures are completely pulled apart. It looks like a kid went through all the figures and took them all apart. So far, it seems like a lot of the stuff is almost complete. They just pulled off the arms and threw them in a box. I don't know why. Um, but I'm going through and piecing it out, and it is taking forever. Um, I might show a clip of it at the end of this video, so stay tuned. Um, it depends on how long this video is. Um, hopefully it won't be too long. Um, there is some cool stuff in this video, though. Um, but I think the only... I got a Ghostbuster item, a uh, Gundam, and a uh, Jurassic Park. So, outside of that, it's going to be Ninja Turtles and G.I. Joe. Um, so, let's start with that stuff first. So first up, I got this Ghostbusters game. And I thought it was broken around the edge, but I guess that's just how it's supposed to look. Oh, sorry. You can't see it. Let's go here. Let's do a wide. So I have no idea how to play it. And to be honest, I don't know how to shut this thing off other than taking the batteries out. Um, pull this off of here. But anyway... Um, I had never seen a Ghostbusters handheld game, so I'm pretty happy to have it. Uh, looks like there's a game A and a game B. I don't know. But it's Ghostbusters Trap the Ghost. And it looks to me like you move this around and... Oh, that's a clock. Let's see if we can get the game going. Still a clock. There we go. So I don't know how you set the trap. Yeah, I have no idea how to play. Um, is there a stand on this? Hold on, let me see something. Here. Huh. There's a little stand on it. That's cool. Anyway, let that just sit over there. For now. All right. So next up, this is my very well. I won't say my first Gundam, but my first Gundam I'm gonna try to build. Um, I had one that I built in high school. Didn't care for it. Um, but this is the Target exclusive Batlog. Um, I don't know what that means. I'm assuming that means these, this whole bat log, or maybe just this one in particular, is a target only kind of thing. Uh, but I got the, it's the American type, and, you know, I figured, why not build one? Um, I just want to open this thing real quick. Because I'm curious how many screws this thing has. And if they're, it says they're already painted, but I'm assuming they're going to be shit paint. Yeah, they are. Um, but I like that everything is already color-coded for me, so if I do decide to paint this, I can actually just pull them straight off the sprues. Because um, I'd rather have, like, a actual paint on there. I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I paint this? 
or just assemble it and detail it. I might just assemble it and detail it since it's my first one that I'm going to try on. Um, what's a tough one? Uh, it does look like it's got stickers instead of water slides, which I would have preferred water slides. Um, yeah. I was hoping maybe for like a translucent sword, but it looks like he just has a gun and a shield. I guess if you're going to be an American Gundam, no, no sword, gun, and shield is what you get. Um, but I'm looking forward to it. I've never built one, uh, or at least tried to put some effort in it. I think the one I had in high school, I just threw together. I didn't care for it because it kept falling apart too easy. So maybe I will just build that and glue it and kind of set it in a certain pose and leave it. Um, I'm not going to move this out just because it's big and you can see it. But it's the Jurassic Park with the Bronco. Uh, or the, uh, that wasn't a Bronco, that was an Explorer if I remember right. Ford Explorer. Um... And I think that kid's name was Tim Timothy. Um, anyway, I've had I have several molds of that stupid T Rex. I'm I'm over that T Rex, but I wanted the the Ford. Didn't want to have to pay for it, or at least not that much. And I ended up waiting until they had a sale at Target, and I had a fifteen per fifteen dollar off thing, and uh, ended up getting the set for like twenty four bucks or something like that. So I figured. You know, go ahead and get that, and then got this same day, and whatever. Um, so yeah. Um, over here, I did pick up, I don't think I'm going to pick up any more of these. I already got uh, several of them, and this is the last one I kind of wanted, was the Hiss Tank. Um, I've heard, watched some people build these, and apparently they are not fun builds, and they are, do not operate and function and look well. So, they are definitely an Ollie's product that's not much of a discount five bucks off but i never seen them in stores like a real store I always the only place i've seen them is discount stores so maybe the, even hasbro knew that they were shite and uh was like yeah let's just send these to the discount bin let's not try to put these in walmart um next up uh i did not pay this price for it by the way but this is the um 1988 TMNT fan club bandana. Um, I have most of the other stuff with the fan club, but the only thing I didn't have was this bandana. And I started looking them up. I guess there was one for each turtle. So they had the red, orange, purple, and blue. Um, let's go ahead and get Breaker out of the way here. Um, so I did get my Breaker... He came in. I do like this motorcycle quite a bit. I didn't think I was going to, but I did. I do. Um, I just feel like he should have came with a crap ton more accessories. Because I don't think there's anything in the rest of this box. Um, so his only weapon is his gun and his helmet. And that's not a weapon. Um, but yeah, I definitely think uh, I will be trying to find a third party weapons kit for him. Because, I mean, he could... Use like a knife on the leg, like I don't know. They could have detailed out his vest a little bit more and showed like magazine pouches. Uh, could have had a rifle on his back. He needs some weapons. So if you guys know anyone who makes uh, these six-inch scale uh, weapons for these, uh, let me know. If not, I'm gonna try to research and find him some. But that is if I ever take him out of the box. So far, I haven't opened up any of my classified GI Joes yet. But I kind of want to open up this guy. I don't know why. Um, mainly because I want to armor him up because I feel like he looks like, first of all, he looks, if you haven't seen the face, he looks like, um, the dude from Mad Men. Um, I can't think of his name, but he looks like the main dude in Mad Men and yeah. Um, but he definitely needs some, some weapons. All right. We'll bounce back. I'm going to bounce between G.I. Joe and Ninja Turtles. Why not? Because uh, there's really not a ton left of Ninja Turtles. Oh, I did get a 3D print thing. I'll show you. Um, so this is the uh, Pro Pilot Donatello. Carded. Um, I don't know if I'll get him graded. Probably won't. 
he's uh, got some issues with the card. Um, but he was always one of my favorites as a kid. So, And then I got Slapshot Leo. His card is actually good enough to be graded, I think. And there's a dent in the corner here, so... He wouldn't be on my top list of items to have graded. He's pretty far down there. Um, and then I got Warlord from movie, the third movie. Um, mainly because I think I got it cheaper than what I could have found the, the accessories for, for the one that I needed accessories for. I had his sword and his knife, but I didn't have these other two bits, so... I may actually even have that figure. I don't. I didn't think I had him carded. Um, I'm really hoping I don't go and put him over with my carded turtles and find that I already have him. Um, and then I got this Jumbo. I don't know what they call these bigger ones, I guess. Jumbo. Um, Michelangelo. Um, I was at the store. And it was just like a quick trip. So I left. I, I just had some cash in my pocket for what I wanted to buy and honestly didn't expect to find anything cool because I was just there earlier that day and they had Michelangelo but they also had Gizmo and I was like well I have this one pre-ordered through Walmart's website let me check it and um, it showed that this shipping was delayed on it which doesn't make any sense like why is there why am I finding them on the shelf if my pre-order hasn't come in yet and then you're telling me it's delayed um, but I looked at it, and I'd canceled a Beast Wars figure because I found it in store. Um, and I thought whenever I clicked on it that this thing was showing that um, it was canceled. I was like, that's weird. So I ended up buying this one over Gizmo. And then whenever I got out to the car, I realized, oh, that was canceled Beast Wars figure and not actually this one. This one was just delayed. Anyway, I'm happy I got him, but I kind of I want the Gizmo. So I'm hoping I can find him at some point. So far, none of these jumbos have been hard to find. Um, as far as I know, anyway. I don't really collect pops. Just by the ones I, I like. Um, Alright. Before we get into my... I got... Two of my most wanted G.I. Joes. And then another... Um, of one of my favorites. That I... If I see it, I'm going to buy it every time now. Um... You guys know I haven't been collecting G.I. Joes for very long, so uh, still trying to get familiar with G.I. Joes and what I like. Um, so first up, uh, I got, what, six, five or six of these, this style, like after the 25th anniversary ones. Um, so I got Cobra Commander. I know a lot of people don't like this figure. That's why he's relatively cheap, um, but I do. Um, unfortunately, this is not the mail away that comes with the His Tank. I would have preferred that one. Um, but I did not know it was available until after I'd already got that one. When I was, came home, I looked it up. And this is one I'm not sure if I've showed you before. This is the Alley Viper, Urban Trooper, and he is awesome. I think I have showed this before, because I remember talking about his gas mask, and he's dusty. Ugh. Um... Alright, you guys aren't going to stand, so... Then I got uh, Snake Eyes, because you need a Snake Eyes. And I didn't have one. Um, actually, I have one, but it didn't come with Timber. Um, I think that is one of the worst faces for a wolf I've seen on one of these figures. Uh, and the head looks giant compared to the body. I don't know. It looks a little odd. Uh, but the figure's pretty cool. And uh, I did a big trade with a guy at a local store. And so most of these are just because I have a bunch of money left over. Because I got rid of, um, I don't know, 100 or hundred figures maybe. Maybe more. Um, so 5% of what I have probably. Um, but I... Uh, this time of year, I always do like a big purge on my figures and get rid of some that I just don't care about. Um, 
so I got an Iron Grenadier. Um, I wasn't, I passed on this guy the first two times I went to his store. Uh, then I watched a video of just how awesome he was, and I had to get him. He is really cool. So, glad I got that guy. This is probably one of my favorites. Um, this one I did not get from the same place I got those. This one I had to go to eBay for, because I seen it on some guy's video. And if you have not seen this thing fully assembled, um, he is awesome. You can't really tell. But there's a little, tiny little picture, and you would think that's all jungle, but, and these are, I think, an actual photo setup, that these are actual figures, but he's got all of these, um, what look like wings, that kind of set up around him, um, and then I think he's got a relatively large gun, that he sits on this tripod, he's got a pistol, uh, I think he's got a mask in here somewhere. Yeah, he's got a mask that goes on his face right here. Um, really cool figure. I'm glad I got him, and he's pretty affordable. Uh, then this guy uh, is another one I've seen on that same video. Um, I was, it was one of the G.I. Joburg guys showing off his collection. Um, but this is the Skydive Halo Jumper. And he's got these massive wings that have bombs and stuff that attach to it. Uh, unfortunately, you can't see it. There's no picture of it but highly recommend looking if you if you're new to gi joe 2 i would recommend looking at that all right so next up um this figure i've already gotten what is this let me pull some of this stuff out of here real quick There's something else in here. Nope. Alright. So, I did get... There's the card back for one of the Heat Vipers. So, I just got a Heat Viper a few weeks ago, and I absolutely love this figure. Um, I don't care for the helmet so much, but what made me really like it are these removable missiles that strap around his legs and the collars. Um, and then you get the giant missile and backpack and all that stuff. So, that is my second Heat Viper. And then... One of my absolute favorites. Now, I already had this card back, but I'm just going to put it up here anyway. I finally have a complete bat. Um, so, this guy came with his file card. Came with all of his accessories, but he had a broken backpack. Well, I had this guy who had a complete backpack. So, now I've got the good backpack. 100% uh, complete figure, and then I just shared, because this guy had no accessories, so I just shared uh, an arm with him until I can complete him. Um, so, now I have two uh, at least displayable bats. Uh, I've got a sticker ordered to replace that. Um, but I may not do that. Actually, there's a bat I might buy um, that has some issues, but I think I can fix them, so, anyway, so very, very happy to have a bat, this is honestly one of my most wanted figures, uh, -huh. and I did not want to pay, uh, things are going for a hundred or more, um, sometimes you get a good deal on one that has like a broken crotch right now for like 75, but, a complete bat right now is going to run you in decent shape, 100 bucks. So I'm glad I did not have to pay anywhere close to that for it. Or at least out of pocket money, anyway. Um, all right, let me clear some of this stuff over. And. We will look at my uh, favorite item from this haul. One of my favorites for the year.
And one of my most wanted items ever. So, let's see if this thing will work. Ah, we have wheels. Oh. Come on, you can support the weight. So we have the G.I. Joe Night Raven. Um, and a tripod that sucks. Come on, I can't zoom out any farther than that. Okay, I guess that's where we're going to go. So, um, got the Night Raven. He has... Makes me nervous even to mess with this. So he has the drop down. Here. I'm just going to set this thing up. So he has the drop down with the pilot. Um, I don't know if that's supposed to come down any farther or not. There we go. So we have the drop down with the pilot. We have the movable missile. Obviously the landing gears. We have that drop down missile section. Um, then coming back here, he does have both bomb pods on both sides. Uh, I've got all the missiles. I've got the um, tail fans. Uh, I think those pop up and are like engine covers. Yeah. So I got both of those. I've got the canopy with another uh, pilot. Uh, the I think it's the Strato Viper. Which I think is a female pilot if I'm not mistaken. Um, I don't know. I kind of like... I wish I... I would like to leave these things down for display, but... Kind of freaks me out up there. Come on. So, the only issues that I have with it is I don't have in the back here, there's supposed to be a black cone that goes on the back, and my air brakes um, are there, and they work, but they're not in sync with the wheels like they're supposed to. Like, it's almost off track. So I will have to fix that. I did have to do a pretty good clean on it. It's it was dirty and it's still pretty dirty. Um, I may have to get in there with like a uh, some Q-tips or a toothbrush or something. Um, let me just see here. See, so it's hard to see whenever I kind of sit in eye level because it's so such a flat vehicle. Um, but it is in pretty good shape. I mean, the uh, stickers aren't peeling off. Um, yeah, uh, if I can find that rear cone, I don't know how hard of a part that is to find. I haven't looked it up yet. I didn't notice it was missing until I put it up here. Um, yeah, I'm definitely happy that I got two pilots for it because those guys are hard to find anyway. Um, yeah, so that is the end of the haul. Um, stay tuned. Well, we're 24 minutes in. I'm not going to put more at the end of this, so... Next time we will have some a whole buttload of transformers, trust me. All right, bye.